test. Ellen Ochoa. Orville Wright. Wilbur Wright. Sir Edmund Hillary. Maya Lynn. Daphne Sheldrick. Queen Victoria, Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell, Amelia Earhart, Isaac Newton, Frederick Augusta Bartholi, Florence Nightingale, Carl Benz, Elizabeth Vigi Lebrun, Dominique Dawes, First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, Welcome to part A of our Biography T 2022. We're so excited that you're here. We're going to present our first and second grade reports. They've been working very hard. And then come back tomorrow at 9.30 for third grade and up. So thank you again. I'll turn it over to Alex Trebek. Good morning and welcome to the 15th edition of TLC Preps Biography Tea Jeopardy style. So this is an honor to be here with you all this morning and this distinguished list of guests. We are so excited to meet each and every one of you and we will begin We have just a little bit of technical difficulties, and while we're waiting for that, let's have our opening prayer. Let's all bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for being here this morning and for all the preparation that each one of these young people have put into um, their character, and we just ask that you be with them, give them the power of recall, help them to... Um, to be confident and to do their very best. And everything that we do today, Father, we ask that it brings glory and honor to your name. 
This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So we will start today with our first graders and round one. She served as the First Lady of the United States from 1933 to 1945. And the answer is, who is Eleanor Roosevelt? Good morning again. My name is Eleanor Roosevelt. I'm best known for being an active first lady who worked for human rights. I was born in New York City on October 11th in 1884, and I died November 7th, 1962. Although I grew up in a fairly wealthy family, I had a tough childhood. My mother died when I was eight, and my father when I was 10. I served as the first lady of the United States from 1933 to 1945 during my husband's President Franklin D. Roosevelt's four terms in office, which makes me the longest serving first lady of the United States. The job of the first lady was always to host parties and entertain foreign dignitaries and political leaders. I decided I need to do more than this. At the start of Franklin's presidency, America was in the middle of the Great Depression. People around the country were struggling to find jobs and even to have enough to eat. Franklin created the New Deal to try and help poor people recover. I decided to travel around the country and really see how people were doing. I traveled thousands and thousands of miles. I let my husband know where people needed help and where his programs weren't working. I'm quoted to say, remember always that you have not only the right to be an individual, you have an obligation to be one. You cannot make any useful contribution in life unless you do this. She is an American engineer, former astronaut, and former director of the Johnson Space Center. And the answer is, who is Ellen Ochoa? My name is Ellen Ochoa. I was born in May 10, 1968 in Los Angeles, California. My father, Joseph, was Mexican and ran a retail store. My mother, Rasan, was a home baker. I have one sister and three brothers. When I was in fifth grade, I thought I wanted to be the president of the United States. But I had many other interests. I learned to play the flute. I also like math and science. In 1993, I became the first Hispanic female astronaut. On my first space mission, I brought a flute along to play. What will you bring on a trip to space? He and his brother were aviation pioneers credited with the inventing, building, and flying the world's first successful motor-operated airplane. And the answer is, who is Orville Wright? My name is Orville Wright. I was born on August 19, 1871. I did not like to study as much as my brother, Wilbur. I was a champion bicyclist. I had the idea to open a print shop. Later, 
My brother and I opened a bicycle shop named the Right Cycle Company in 1904. I took the world's first flying machine. I was brave to fly. I worked hard to achieve my dreams. This person lost a coin toss and became the second person to fly the world's first successful motor-operated airplane. And the answer is, who is Wilbur Wright? My name is Wilbur Wright. I was born on April 16, 1867 of the middle child of a family of five children. I love school and being around people. I love to spend time with my younger brother, Orville. I'm an aviation pioneer. I worked at our family workshop. My brother, Orville, and I founded the bicycle company named the Right Cycle Company. I led the company until my death. On May on 29 May 1953, this mountaineer became the first of two climbers confirmed to have reached the summit of Mount Everest. And the answer is, who is Sir Edmund Hillary? I'm Edmund Hillary. I was the first to reach the top of Mount Everest. I was determined. I, re I reached the top of Mount Everest by one of the most influential people who, are, who ever lived. She won a national design competition for the planned Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. And the answer is, who is Maya Lin? My name is Maya Lin. I was born on October 5th, 1959 in Adams, Ohio. I grew up in Adams, Ohio, and my parents immigrated from China. I love school. I graduated high school as valedictorian, then easily got accepted to Yale University. I became an architect, sculptor, artisan, and author after college. For competition in college, I designed a Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C., and won. However, I had to overcome the heavy criticism I received from the press and others when designing the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. I am credited for my work in designing many different monuments and memorials. I am dedicated for my studies and working hard. I am also resilient for pushing through many setbacks within my work to get to where I am today. My favorite quote is to fly we have to have a destiny. She was the first woman to perfect the milk formula. And the answer is, who is Daphne Sheldrick? Hi, my name is Daphne Sheldrick. I was born in Kenya. My parents were British. When I grew up, I, I rescued baby elephants whose mothers were killed by poachers. I developed a milk formula to feed baby elephants. My character trait is caring and loving because I cared and loved for baby elephants. She
she oversaw the expansion of the British Empire? And the answer is, who is Queen Victoria? My name is Queen Victoria. I was born on May 24, 1819 in Kensington Park. Palace in London. My childhood was difficult. I grew up with my mother. I was always positive and cheerful. I died at the age of 81 on January 22, 1901. I was the longest reigning monarch until 2015. She was the first woman to earn a medical degree, degree from an American medical school. And the answer is, who is Elizabeth Blackwell? Hi, my name is Elizabeth Blackwell. I am from England. I have two older sisters. My mom always says, I had to be really good in school. When I came to the United States, my mom and my two older sisters had to work hard to help me pay for school. Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to help my friends and other people. books about medicine to help others be like me. Eat your vegetables. She was the first female aviator to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. And the answer is, who was Amelia Earhart? Ocean. My character trait is adventurous. Thank you. He invented the stoplight and moved to California. And so we'll be on to our next. He is widely recognized as one of the greatest mathematicians and physicists 
and among the most influential scientists of all time? And the answer is, who is Sir Isaac Newton? My name is Isaac Newton. I was born in 1643 on Christmas Day. I was a very quiet child, but was very skilled with my hands. I like to build things out of wood. I was not very good at school, but after a bullying incident, I became the top of my class. As an adult, I became one of the greatest geniuses of all time. After watching an apple fall from a tree, I figured out the principles of gravity and the laws of motion. I invented a type of math called calculus, and I also invented the reflecting telescope. The queen knighted me. I became Sir Isaac Newton. My character trait is curiosity because I always wanted to know how and why things work the way they do. He is best known for designing light, liberty and lightening the world, commonly known as the Statue of Liberty. And the answer is, who is Frederick Auguste Bertoli? My name is Frederick Auguste Frederick Augusti Bartholdi. I was born at Comer, France, 1834. <laughs> when I was two, my father died, and my mom and brother and I moved to Paris. France. At there, I studied drawing, painting, a sculpting, I am famous for designing the Statue of Liberty of New York. I said that one. My character trait is I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, energetic and a artist. When I was 70, I died by tuberculosis. She is the founder of modern nursing. <laughs> and the answer is, who is Florence Nightingale? My name is Florence Nightingale. giving person and buy supplies with my own money. I do not give up. I kept 
working during the war while I was sick. determined and I am I'm changing the world of medicine thank you He designed and built the world's first practical automobile powered by an internal combustion engine. And the answer is, who is Carl Benz? My name is Carl Benz. I was born in 1844 in Germany. Sadly, when I was two years old, my father died, and my mother raised me and helped me with my education. I graduated with a degree. And I was only 19 years old. My character trait is innovative. My dream was to build cars, so I became an inventor. I also had a lot of financial problems. I still follow my dreams. I invented the very first car in history, powered by gas. I named it the motor wagon. <coughs> I am also the founder of Mercedes-Benz Car Company. Thank you for having me here today. She was a French portrait painter, especially of women, in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. And the answer is, who is Elizabeth Lebrun? My name is Elizabeth Lebrun. I was born April 16, 1755 in Paris, France. For as long as I can remember, after my dad died, I turned to painting in order to help my mom support the family. My most widely known painting is of the French Queen Marie Antoinette. I painted it when I was 23. I am known for my welcoming nature, beginning understanding, and sympathetic to my clients. During my career, I painted over 900 pictures, including 600 portraits, and about 200 landscapes. I returned to France in 1809 and remained there until I died in 1842. 
Thank you for having me. She was inducted into the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame. And the answer is, who is Titana Gutsu? Oh. And she is not able to join us today. She was a 10-year member of the U.S. National Gymnastics Team. She also is the Olympic bronze medalist on the floor exercise from the Atlanta Games. And the answer is, who is Dominique Dawes? My name is Dominic Dawes. I was born in Silver Spring, Maryland. I in 1976. I started taking gymnastics lessons. When I was six years old, I fell in love with the sport. I used to write the word determination on my mirror to prepare for my gymnastics meets. I won four gold medals. I was the first black woman of any nationality to win Olympic gold in gymnastics. The first American woman team to win gold in the Olympics. I was inducted into fate into gymnastics fame into 2005. My character traits are determination and perseverance. Thank you for having me today. Thank you very much. So this concludes part A, and I have a small confession to make. I had a folder with all of their speeches so that I could prompt them if they forgot. I forgot it at the school. So that was all on them. They did a wonderful job. Can we give them another round of applause? So thank you again, and we hope to see you here tomorrow at 9.30 for the rest of the presentations. Thank you again. Mr. Locke, will you have closing prayer for us, please?